and I'm getting mighty tired of your trifling ways and of listening to that jackass Bray. <laughs> Hey beautiful, good morning. It's top all up on your screens again. Did you do something different today? You look good. Maybe let's just get started. Okay, so today I'm going to be moisturizing my hair in braids. Uh, I've been taking care of my hair for about for almost a year now. I mean, I've been a natural for, oof, I've been a natural for three years, but I just started taking care of my natural. I just started learning about natural hair like a year ago and I've been consistently taking care of my natural hair. It's something I'm very passionate about and I want you to join me today to moisturize my natural hair in braids so these are not less braids and well after next week i'll be two months old in not less braids i am tired and i am dying and i cannot wait to take this off because it's so not me i am so tired of it look at this but i'm just holding on for one more week so that it will be exactly two weeks and then i take it off okay anyway let's just start it the reason why i'm moisturizing my hair is because uh dry hair for those who don't know dry hair tends to lead to breakage a lot of breakage so i make sure to moisturize my hair all the time even when i'm in braids and it's a very simple routine to make sure your hair is always moisturized so that when your hair comes out of the synthetic hair well it will still be a little you know it's not the best moisturizing routine because i would like to moisturize my real hair itself without the synthetic hair but you have to manage it in braids what can we do i'm not going to leave it dry in the braids until i take it out that will that will just be a recipe for disaster so let's get started and let me tell you about my natural hair journey okay so anyway i use a spray bottle i'm first going to fill this with water and then we'll see what happens okay so i fill this up to here with water just water water is the number one moisturizer it's is hydrating you need water do not try to replace it with any other thing that's like water like aloe vera juice don't get me wrong aloe vera juice is good it contains water but this is pure water it's needed so even if you are going to go into your hair with aloe vera juice make sure water is the number one hydration you need so take in water put water fill it with water and then you continue with your leave-in conditioner or even <clears throat> sorry or even your conditioner as long as your conditioner doesn't have any protein in it you should be fine because this is moisturizing you're not going to wash it off at least I'm not going to wash it off anytime soon. So <laughs> my sister gave me this huge conditioner. It's a conditioner and at the same time a leave-in conditioner. I've been using that to moisturize my hair and it's been working. So just a little, let's see. So this is my water. Right, so that's about it. So after my leave-in conditioner, what comes next? Oil. And I've been using this oil for some time now, argan oil. I've used the hell out of this oil. Look at what is left. But anyway, so I have castor oil, but castor oil is far too expensive to be using on my hair in addition to synthetic hair. So I'm going to hold on to that when I take these braids off, then I go in with the castor oil to make sure it is touching every single part of my hair. So for now, argan oil should do. And this is from We Naturals. I love this line of DS. This also belongs to my sister. My sister just has all these products she doesn't use because she's so lazy to take off her natural hair. When she was here, I was taking care of her natural hair, but now that she's married, I wonder how she's doing. Hopefully, she watches this video and learns how to take off her natural hair without me. So anyway, just a little oil, not so much. Okay. And that's it. 
it's time to moisturize your hair that's all and if you should be doing this often your hair will not be so dry lots of people complain my natural hair is so dry it's so hard it's not dry and hard you're just not taking care of it and you keep comparing yourself to people with straight hair or curly hair forgetting that these people with straight hair if you should watch movies or if you even know some of them you know how often they wash their hair they wash their hair like every day or every other day so their hair is constantly hydrated we like to wait because we put our hair in braids a lot we like to wait for about a month and then go into the shower to you know wash our hair and then we put it in braids for another month again and we complain oh my hair is hard my hair is this well while it's in braids moisturize your hair you will be shocked so let's do this and let me tell you about my natural hair journey when i finished senior high school yo i was so excited to start my natural hair journey especially when i got admission to lake one by that time i had been natural for about six months i was loving my fro i was wearing it everywhere and when i got admission to school i had a friend there already in the hostel i wanted to be hilary man so my mom sent me to just go see the friend so that she would help me with the process because i didn't know anything and trust me the process is hectic so i went and i remember when i went as soon as I knocked the door, she opened, she looked at me from up to down, like, is this how you intend to come to school here? Like, she wasn't okay. I was in a jeans with t-shirts. That's like my signature dress. I, I don't dress up much. Jeans, t-shirts, I'm your girl. And then with my afro, <laughs> anyway, she saw me and I didn't like the look she gave me, so I, I made a conscious effort to try to step it up. But I wasn't going to change my hair. I loved my fro, so I wanted to keep wearing my fro. And sis was not okay with it. I can't count the number of times she told me that there was, my hair was not nice. I should change my hair. I should perm it. My natural hair was not nice. I wasn't listening to her, but it got to a time. I actually started believing her. It started getting to me. She and all her friends actually had um, permed hair, beautiful long permed hair. I was the only natural girl and she would always let me know my natural hair was such a huge problem. Like if we were going out, like why wouldn't I put on a wig? Am I coming out with my natural hair? So it, I'm only human. I mean, I'm as tough as I can be, but I'm only human. At a point it got to me, I believed her and I went to perm my natural hair. It led to so much breakage for me i i was devastated i didn't know what to do with my natural hair i hated it i hopefully if i can find some pictures i'll insert it in here do i doubt it because it's years ago and i changed my phone like twice after that before now so but i'll see if i can find some pictures somewhere and insert them in here to show you what i'm talking about anyway so i went to pair my hair i was miserable and guess what like months later this girl cuts hair permed hair all her she has three friends three girls who are always with her they all cut their hair following her and they begin a natural hair journey i'm stuck with my permed hair and i hate my permed hair i'm not even enjoying it i'm only perming my hair because these people think this is prettier than my natural hair and they've gone to go natural that was just scary that was just disappointing i felt so dumb anyway I kept the permed hair for some time and then around level 300 I cut my hair again I was like fuck this shit so I cut it and then I decided I was going natural once and for all I wasn't going to mess up again so natural it was all the way anyway the reason why I'm not spraying this is because my hair is not long to the side so spraying just this hair is a waste of my resources I'm putting it on where I'm sure my hair ends and that's why I'm not going all the way down this girl however so this girl i don't know she was she i don't know why she had this effect on me she was always able to get me to change my mind on something i felt very strongly about i mean i remember she had mom as a pastor and one time she came telling us god told her mom that we were not supposed to wear trousers anymore we the ladies we were not supposed to use this um, wig to braid our hair anymore because it was all made in hell and Satan was transporting them from deep under the sea to the earth bro all her friends her three friends they stopped using the soap they were natural okay they were on the path of God God's righteousness and then they started using rope to braid their hair it's called 
brazilian wool i think brazilian wool they started using that to braid their hair and it was beautiful but i could see they were not happy and what so my room was two rooms away from here this lady's room and i remember one day i came back from lectures it wasn't time for me to come back but i came back early because i wasn't feeling well or something like that and this girl <laughs> I, my windows were open, my curtains were open. I don't know if it was lights out or something, because that's not usually my situation. But my windows were open. I saved, I shifted my curtains so I could see what was happening outside. And I saw her coming to pass very quiet. She was like, oh, is she trying to hide from me? What's happening? And then I came out of so I ran out of the room to see what was happening. Then she ran into her room. Guess what? I saw this girl in a wig and trousers. I don't know if she was back from a date or something. She was in a wig and trousers, and none of her three friends here. She was begging me like, "Yo, T, don't tell anyone, please." I'm like, "What the hell is wrong with you? You got us following you. Like, when someone tells me they see something from God, I'm not about to argue with that shit. Like, yo. <laughs> anyway, so I saw her. Then I just, at that point, I knew that was her very last time having any influence on me. Never again. I began to just love myself. I began to just do me hair. I broke loose. I was braiding my hair color blue and things. Like I was just doing things. I was just being me. Life was too short to just, you know, not live it the way I wanted to. So anyway, I knew that was the moment. I stopped letting her have this kind of control over me. And I was so happy. I was so free. And okay, so back to a topic I've been meaning to address for a very long time now. I didn't, you know, when I was coming, when I was becoming a natural, I didn't like my mom has dreadlocks, okay, and okay, even as a child when I was growing up, my hair was pimped because my mom simply didn't know how to take off natural hair. So my hair was pimped through and through and it is why <laughs> she cut my hair somewhere somewhere around class two because every time we would go to braid my hair, these hairdressers were wicked, yo, like I wouldn't be able to sleep for like a week that's how painful it was and my mom just got sick and tired of that life so she just cut my hair to let me be and you know what i appreciate it i appreciate it so much because i was a child i didn't need it like i was okay these hairdressers in my hood bro <sighs> I was sick and tired of always having to take pigments and all that. But I didn't realize my friends, and I mean a lot of my friends, even to present day, they think natural hair is ugly. And I don't know, but I have come a very long way on this journey of self-love, of finally being able to look at myself in the mirror and smile and say, you know what, T, you are beautiful. It's been such a journey. Like, that has been... Seriously, especially in my junior high school, the boys, look, junior high school is probably the worst period of my life I've ever experienced because the boys in my class, they were ruthless. I remember every, was it, every now and then they were making this list, ranking all the girls as to the prettiest to the ugliest or the, let me say the least prettiest they were always ranking and i was always finding myself in the last 10 i one day had a guy who told me point blank that i was too tall i was too dark um my front teeth were too out actually that was my case so i fixed braces in senior high school i think that but i remember this boy told me that in class and i was you know everybody in the class was looking at me so weird and i was pretending i didn't care but it really shook me it really shook me i've come a very long way on this journey of self-love to be able to look myself in the mirror and say you know what fuck everyone i'm beautiful the way i am i love my hair so much i am passionate about my natural hair and to think that i've had people tell me oh but it's so coily um they prefer the loser curls or straighter hair like that and i don't blame them because those are the standards of beauty we've been exposed to if you look in the magazines from when we were children the people we were looking up to like music videos they all had you know their straight hair or the wavy hair so i get it the standards of beauty we were introduced to what could we do that's what we know as beautiful and look at someone like my mom my mom had permed hair it's okay it's been a while she went you know the dreadlocks roots but she had permed hair for a while and i admired her permed hair so much because she didn't know how to take care of natural hair but now that i do i've come to fall in love with my hair and to think that i have friends people close to me who genuinely hate the very hair that comes out of their head 
they think it's not beautiful i mean not that i have anything against permed hair not at all but if the reason you are doing permed hair or the reason you went that route is because to you you think natural hair is so ugly and it's not you know i have friends who simply went the permed hair route because they are too busy to take off natural hair and i understand this needs effort it needs a lot of work so i get it believe me there was a point in my time I was so busy I, I didn't have time for this. But seriously, taking care of your natural hair is self-care. Okay, so I'm almost done. So taking care of your natural hair is self-care and I get the hard work that goes into it. So to all my friends who, you know, believe me, I get you. I get you. I'm not trying to criticize anyone for their path, but I'm just trying to get you to realize that the hair that grows out of your very head naturally is just as beautiful. It's unfortunate that back then we didn't know how to take it. We didn't, there wasn't a lot of knowledge about natural hair then and we weren't happy with what we were seeing. You know, there was a lot of breakage. Up till now, there's still a lot of breakage because a lot of people do not know how to take care of their natural hair. But really, natural hair is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Your little tiny, every little tiny spiral, every little tiny coil on your hair, it's amazing and i do hope that you guys get to look at yourselves in the mirror and realize you know what tafa is telling the truth tafa is the truth <laughs> all right so i'm done moisturizing my hair and now i'm just going to go in with my hair growth oil to you know oil my scalp and i'll be done so i do this like once a week if i'm feeling very hard working let me not pretend i'm a lazy natural so maybe once every two weeks when i'm in braids when my own hair is out i don't play with it i do not play with it i go like every four days i'm moisturizing my hair i don't want my hair to be dry and crusty no way so anyway this is it hair goes oil for my scalp it doesn't really matter the oil you use i used to use olive oil the anointing oil we know in ghana I used to use that a lot. I just, I, I don't remember who got me this. Someone just got it for me as I kept it. I've been using it. I can't say there's much difference. All of them. It's just, you know, making sure you're greasing your scalp, you know, to make sure it's not so dry leading to dandruff and all other things. And besides, when you use this and you massage your hair, it activates your hair follicles. Your blood vessels wake up. And then it actually encourages growth so i don't believe it's actually in the oil the oil does help to nourish the hair fine but massaging the hair is what actually wakes up the blood vessels in there to lead to the hair growth so here we go my mirror is here so if you see i'm in the bathroom if you see me looking here okay So it's been a nice time with you guys. I do hope some way, somehow, I've been able to help someone realize just how beautiful their natural hair journey can be. If they should, you know, want to go on that journey. And even if you have permed hair, if it's due to any insecurities, whatever, look, that doesn't matter. You are beautiful. Permed hair is also beautiful. My mom had permed hair and I loved it so much. She was so beautiful. I just don't want your journey to or your transition to permed hair to be because you think the hair that grows out of your hair is not beautiful or attractive enough because that's so far from the truth. You are beautiful. You are enough. And you are everything. So please, when you look in the mirror, do not, and especially do not listen to friends. So I don't listen, there's nothing my friends can tell me. I've always really, ever since, you know, that experience with my friend in school, I've been very independent minded. You can't tell me anything about my natural hair. I know who I am. I know how beautiful my natural hair is. A little for my edges, okay. All right, and it's time for a massage. I need to sort of hurry up because I have a makeup class. I know how that sounds. <laughs> Anytime I tell my friends, they laugh. But I'm not a very creative person. I'm not a very artistic person. I tried looking on YouTube, you know, looking to YouTube, looking at um, tutorials and look, <laughs> I'm hopeless. I, I just, 
I'm hopeless. I knew that I needed someone to actually sit down with me and teach me hands on. And I'm glad I did that because at least right now my madam says I'm doing well. She says I'm almost perfect and I'm happy for that. I've learned a lot. Right now it's, it's left with eyeliner, application of the eyelashes, highlighter. And I think that's it. Yeah. I've, I've learned almost everything else. I'll try to put some videos in there to show you how well I'm doing. So anyway, so this is it. Right, so this is what I have to tell you. Whether you have natural hair or pimp hair, it's very important to keep your hair moisturized. Um, if you are too lazy to do, you know, the water, they have um, leave-in conditioners that are in the liquid form, like really liquid form, almost like water. You can just purchase that and then use it, spray it in your hair like once a week or so. Whether you have pimp hair or straight hair, that's, it will lead to breakage. Dry hair will lead to breakage. So just keep, you know, moisturizing your hair, taking good care of your hair and you should be fine so this is me massaging my hair and getting ready for my makeup class and until next time it's bye for now so if you like this i hope you comment tell me about your natural hair journey your natural hair story what you think about natural hair if you have pimp hair too i'd like to know your struggles let's just get active in the comments please do subscribe and like if you like this video and help me share it to your friends as well I'll follow up on your screens. I'll see you next week, Thursday. So it's bye for now.